So uh, despite what, you know, like porn or Tinder and peer pressure or like, you know, like watching, you know, like scenes from movies, you know, might suggest like having sex with someone isn't just, you know, bodily contact. It's, you know, also something, you know, spiritual in a sense that, you know, you create this energetic cord with the other person, like uh, during the act of, you know, intimacy. This, you know, cord can, you know, linger on for years, you know, after the, after the encounter. And it'll, like, a transfer, like, you know, like, such, you know, uh, emotional, like, baggage and mess, you know, between you. This is, you know, perhaps why losing your virginity to some, you know, woman or man who you thought would be it can not only be unsatisfying, it'll leave you, like, a feeling uh, weirded out for reasons you can't explain. I remember, like, uh, Dennis Rodman, a basketball player, like, uh, saying how he, like, you know, tried to lose his, you know, virginity to, like, an escort. And afterwards, though, I don't know, like, he felt, like, uh, super, like, you know, like, grossed out and ashamed of himself, you know, afterwards. And um, on a side note, um, the same thing, like, you know, would go for, like, murder or manslaughter. Once, you know, you end up, you know, taking someone's life, even if it's, you know, self-defense or an accident or you're enlisted as a soldier, life is simply, like, you know, not the same anymore. Whatever you do, though, like, don't go around, you know, having casual, you know, sex with random people because you're not just risking, you know, sexual disease. You're also going to, like, be picking up whether whatever, you know, unconscious, you know, emotional baggage and complexes, you know, the other person's going to have. Like one time, uh, 2021, right, uh, after I had been like, left, you know, traumatized by like an online relationship, I uh, considered, you know, calling an escort, you know, like uh, to, because I wanted to, a part of me, like I really wanted to know like what it would be like, you know, just to like, you know, just to be with, you know, someone, you know, up close. And yes, you know, I saw the photos, you know, of her, like she was like jaw droppingly, like, you know, gorgeous, you know, hot, you know her body and everything. But over the text messages though, she came across as, you know, strangely like in a cold. And, you know, thank God I asked her like, you know, if she had like a fucking hot tub, you know, hot tub, you know, time machine. <laughs> and that's when her mask you know, started to slip off, you know, as, you know, she actually only cared about, you know, getting my money. So to end end this video, like there is a girl who I remember in my last you know, semester of studies who you know be bragging about all the guys you know she slept with while coming to office you know incredibly obnoxiously like insecure like you know like behind this sort of like mask of you know confidence you know how she'd brag about it. I remembered vividly like in having to like you know just hold back the urge just to like go in her face and scream out loud just to shut her fucking face up because I don't want to hear about like you know how many like you know, dicks you know like uh, she's you know like a uh, sucked so I had like uh people like you know time and time again asking you know, hey Derry how come you're still like a virgin you know you should be out there like you know dating some girls you know or getting married because I never I did I still don't didn't know the reason why like maybe but Deep down in my heart, though, like, I know it's because I still believe in true love.